This video is going to be on the Rust Sound MBX amp. Uh, it works very similar to the MBX Pre, which is a preamp. Uh, the difference between the two is the Pre uh, works with an MCA uh, series controller or some other input device. It's basically a streaming device, uh, whereas the MBX amp actually has a uh, powered amplifier coming off the back of it. Now with this device, it will let you stream through your Wi-Fi network. It has built-in Bluetooth. It's got Pandora, Spotify, Deezer, um, a couple AirPlay radios like iHeartRadio type um, devices, and you can also AirPlay into the device. So basically you need your phone remotely, walk around your home freely, and control the radio stations or control the Sirius XM or whatever you're listening to. Now depending on your situation, this can be set up a couple different ways. You can feed it again into like a surround sound amplifier for a source. You could feed it into a single room with two speakers. You can feed it into two different rooms. Um, you can also use volume controls with it. You can use a zone splitter. Uh, it is only 50 watts. I would not recommend doing uh, six or 10 rooms with it. It's not got enough power for it. It will play the music. You're just gonna lose a lot of power with it. I'm gonna just basically go over the unit really quickly. Um, and I'm gonna focus more on how to use the app uh, since that's what most people are gonna be doing with this. So the amplifier is a 2.1 50 watt per channel amplifier. So basically it's a 100 watt amplifier. It has a right and a left, which both have 50 watts per channel on them. Uh, you've got a subwoofer out on it. You've got a digital audio in, a digital audio out, analog audio in, analog audio out, and a couple 12 volt triggers. And it also has a USB port on the back of it for an input. So the most uh, common configuration I use with this is usually there's a cable box. Um, Sometimes a CD player, uh, a lot of cable boxes, cable companies have music channels on them now. So basically I'll feed the output of the cable box into the digital audio in. And then when you pull it up on your mobile app, if you turn on like whatever music channel you like on the uh, cable box, it'll actually play through the audio. Or if you're watching a, a football game, basketball game, you can feed that through the house also. So when you load up your app, you're going to hit Rust Sound and it's going to load up with your amplifier on there. If you've got an MCA series, I'll do another video on that and show you how to do all those. You end up with multiple devices when you click on this. You'll find all the rooms in your house on here. In this case, we're just going to work with the amplifier. So I'm going to click on this one room. Now when you first get on this, there's a settings button at the top right. When you hit the settings button, this will let you uh, increase your bass, uh, your treble, um, your turn on volume. All your settings are right here for those. So basically, once you get it playing, this is where you'll set your bass, your treble. This is the turn on volume. This is what I was saying earlier. If you've got multiple devices in the room, you just set the turn on volume to whatever you want. Let's say it's uh, 80%. And then you will use the volume controls in the room to actually turn the volume up and down on the system instead of the side buttons. So if I was doing multiple rooms, I would set this. Let's just do, um, like I said, I usually try not to do 100%. We'll do 80%. And then I'm going to turn off the side buttons. And that means when you hit the button on the side, you can't turn this up and down. Now, if you don't do that, what will happen is you'll end up going into the room. You'll turn the volume all the way down on the control in the room. You'll turn the volume all the way up on the phone, not thinking about it. And you'll end up with the volume balanced out of whack. So you don't want to be able to control the volume in two different places because the next time you turn it on, one might be turned all the way up and you might just blow somebody out of the room. And the other one might be turned all the way down. You can't even hear it. So if you're doing multiple rooms with volume controls, set your turn on volume and turn off the side button. So once I'm done in there, I'll hit that. There's a sleep timer on it. Basically, you can just have it turn off after 30 minutes. There's an alarm, so if you want it to turn on. The all rooms on and off are for um, multiple uh, zones. So let's say if you have three of these devices, you could actually hook three of them up, and then each one of them, you could name them, and you could turn them all on, turn them all off if you wanted to. You could sort them alphabetically if you wanted, and you can select your language. So I'm going to back up out of here. Now the three bars go in the other direction. That's where your sources are. So when you click on this, it'll go into your recently played files. You can create a playlist on here. You've got a universal plug and play, which is through your router. Um, you got a USB port, which is on the back. Bluetooth, AirPlay, which is uh, iTunes or iPhone. Um, Spotify, Sirius, TuneIn, VTuner, Arable Radio. Uh, the Arable Radio and the TuneIn are free. The VTuner is a paid subscription, but they're a radio station, so you can stream radio. Uh, Tidal, Deezer, Napster, analog input and digital input. That's where your cable box or your CD player would also go. 
So the first thing I want to do, I'll just do arable radio. So I'm going to click on arable radio. When you click on this, it's going to come up with local stations, recommendations. Once you create your favorites list, the favorites will be in the favorites. Um, I'm going to hit local stations, and it'll pull up the local stations in your area. And basically you click on the one you want, and hit it again, and it'll start playing. So basically I've got this music playing through the MBX right now. Now the side buttons will not turn it up and down. The volume still shows going up and down on the side of the phone, but it's not actually turning the amp up or down. So if you want to override it, you can still override it down here, but you can't override it by pushing the side buttons because we disabled that in the earlier feature. If you've only got one room of audio or you've only got two rooms that you want to go up and down at the same time, when you push the side button up and down, it would turn the volume up and down for the both rooms. Okay, I stopped the radio, so I'm going to switch inputs now. So I'm going to switch devices. I'm going to actually go up into here, close off the app, so I don't have the app running at all. I'm going to pick Amazon Music. Once it loads, I'm going to click on whatever artist I want to listen to at the time. Once it starts playing, again, I'm going to turn the volume down so I don't get my video band here. If it's an iPhone, an older iPhone, um, you'll swipe up to get to this menu. If it's a newer iPhone, you swipe down from the top right corner. It's a little circle there with an arrow. That's your AirPlay button. When you get to that, you pick the amplifier you want to stream it to. So it's just connected. When you hit play, your phone's not going to be playing any music. So you can turn it up, you can turn it down, nothing's happening. But inside the amplifier, your house is going up or down. If you don't have on the side volume off, if you got the side volume button on, then the volume goes up and down. So if you've got side lock on, it won't do anything. If you have the side lock off, the volume goes up and down through the house. And this will just work just like it normally does. You'll just forward, backwards through your music as you go. When you're done, you can either close the app or you can swipe down from the top right corner again, go back in your AirPlay menu, and just click it back on the iPhone. Once you do that, the iPhone starts playing again, and that frees up the amplifier. Only one person can stream into it at one time. So if there's two or three of you in the family trying to stream to it at one time, you guys are all just going to be fighting over who's got control of the amplifier. So... Um, if there's multiple people and want to listen to multiple things, you need multiple amplifiers or you need to compromise. Now again, this will work for anything. So if there's a serious app built into the unit. I would suggest using that. Anytime you're on your phone using your phone, if the phone rings and you're streaming to the amplifier, you can't airplay and talk at the same time. So what will happen is your, your, your system will kick off. So if other people are listening to music, every time you get something on there, it's going to kick off. So I'm just going to pick something. I don't think I'll get bandwidth, breaking news. I'll hit that. I'll pick my streaming station from Sirius. So I'm streaming through my phone. And again, I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to pull down. I'm going to hit the stream or the airplay button. Pick the amplifier. Connects to the amplifier. And now this is going to play through the amplifier. So that's how you change sources on that. So I'm going to swipe up. I'm going to close off the app. I'm going to go back into the Rust Sound app again. It's going to find the devices on your network, and this is where it showed I was doing that. So I can actually control this through here, but this is still playing through AirPlay. Again, if you're on AirPlay, it's really nice. You can control it, and if you're doing Sirius or anything else that's built into here, you can control it from here, but when you get a phone call, it will not interrupt your music. So the other thing, when you open the app back up the next time, it's going to leave you in the last played menu or the last menu we're in when it, when it opens up and connects to it. You click the three bars down here, and since we picked Carolina Country, even though we airplayed from another device into here, it's still got Carolina Country for the source because that's what we picked. I'm just going to hit the back arrows until we get out of here. So I'm going to back up all the way until I get back to my main menu. And again, you could hit Bluetooth if you want. You could Spotify. You could do Sirius. Again, I recommend doing a series. If you have a series account, do it through the app inside. Um, there's a series. As soon as you click on series, it'll pull up your information. If you pick on Pandora, it'll ask for your login information for Pandora. If you've got a Pandora account, same with uh, Deezer, Napster, uh, Spotify. All those will just pop in there. So if you hit Spotify, if you have a Spotify account, it'll ask you to log back in or log out. And probably the last thing on here, a lot of people um, are into YouTube now. If you do the YouTube Red, um, basically you have no um, commercials in between. But you can do the same thing on here as you would do anything else. So let's click on um, um, I don't know, whatever's on top here. Let's zap them. 
once you turn Led Zeppelin on here or whatever you're going to watch, same thing, pull down, hit the cast button again, pick the Rust Sound app. And now that's going to play through the Rust Sound system. Close my apps off. Back into my Rust Sound again. And it takes me back to AirPlay because that's the last thing I was playing. Since I closed the app, there's nothing playing right now. I'm going to hit the Rust Sound amp at the top. And again, all these other sources, if you have multiple things, will show up down at the bottom. Since you're not going to have that, you can name this whatever you want. Now that was just a quick overview. Um, I'll do some more smaller videos later on, uh, detailed line items, basically a little one minute videos of what each one of those lines do in there, how to do the bass, how to do treble, stuff like that. Uh, but for this video, I just wanted to do an overall video so you can see how it works, uh, how it functions.